Okay, ladies and gents, uh, we're going to look at um, how to create and use a quiz assignment in this video. So if you go to the classwork page and then go to create and we're going to go down to quiz assignments. Now, what's really good about this feature is that you can actually create a um, multiple choice assessment piece um, that if done the way I show you can actually mark itself or at least 90 percent of it. Uh, depending on what kind of questions you actually ask. So I'm going to give a random um, title here. No, actually, no, I do have something in place. So I'm just going to put this as um, business growth. And I'm going to put uh, assessment. Here we go. Ooh. Um, instructions you can leave as it is, but we can just click, uh, type in something simple, open uh, the assessment below and attempt every question. Read every question carefully before choosing or entering your answer okay something as simple as that as always having some issues with my spelling right okay now there isn't a quiz just yet so you're going to create one so because we clicked assignment uh, quiz assignment it actually gives you a blank quiz here so what we're going to do is going to click on this and it should open it up separately on a new tab and it's completely blank now all you have to do is just come up with a simple uh, design so i've call this um, business growth on the main page. So that's what I'm going to call it here, business growth. You can call it whatever topic you're up to if you're assessing after lesson two lessons, whatever it is. Uh, so I'm pretending that I've just completed this uh, section of learning and now I'm going to do a quick quiz on it. So business growth, keep it the same uh, and consistent. And if I click over here now, notice how that doesn't have the title yet, but as soon as I typed it here, it should transfer it over. Oh, it hasn't. That's strange. Normally it does. So what I'm going to do in that case uh, is just going to select it, right click and copy and go up here, right click, Ooh. select all, right click and paste. There we go. Now it's the same. It might be because we're using the assignment quiz button here rather than opening it directly from Google Drive. Nevertheless, as long as we have it, it's fine. Now, you have to think carefully about the questions you have. Now, I've already got something that I'm going to base my questions on. Um, so I'm going to go over here and I've got some here. So I'm just going to, just to make this easier, copy and paste some of these questions and potential answers into here. So I'm going to show you the first couple just so you can see what I'm talking about. Then pause the video, finish it off and then come back to you. So I'm copying the question here or you type it in or if you've got a spreadsheet, somewhere, a, a Word document somewhere, you can just copy and paste it in or type it in, whatever's easy for you. Uh, so I've got the answers here, so hopefully I can just copy all of these and let's see if it pushes in all three separately. Uh, if it does that, just cross off what you don't need, so I don't need these blank, oops, undo. Take off the blank ones, there you go, and there you go. So I've got three potential answers there, and this is multiple choice because they get to choose one. You can have drop down as well. Uh, but multiple choice is uh, better for me purely because in my exam, the students will actually have the section A of the exam paper is multiple choice where they see three or four potential answers. So for me, it makes more sense, more sense to keep it like this. Um, in case you're wondering what these, what these guys look like, I can actually go to the top and there's a little view button here that uh, previews or lets you see what the uh, students would see um, once it's complete. So if I click this now, you'll see that I have this here so it's multiple choice you can see you only choose one answer if i cross this off yeah i'm gonna leave it uh, if i change it to check boxes the difference between these two is it looks almost identical but the difference is it will allow you to have more than one answer if need be and of, of course in this kind of question it's not possible so it doesn't make sense to do that one uh, the other one is a drop down which is similar to the first one multiple choice um but they don't get to see all the answers so if i click on preview again you'll see you have, you have to click it and then drag down. So it's really down to you which one you want to go for. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I said, I prefer multiple choice. A um, couple of things before going to the next question. I'm going to put the number here. So question one. And down here where it says required, click that. Because otherwise, um, 
if you don't click that, students will be allowed to um, miss questions or skip questions, which you don't want to do. Um, answer key here. Um, I've not actually used this before, so let me just see. Oh yeah, you basically choose how many points they can get from each one. So I'm gonna put one there, done. Uh, because it's out of one mark. Now, if there's a different kind of question, which I'll show you later, you can have more than that. So, what is a monopoly? Three potential answers, and that's it. Now, to add another question, you have the plus sign here, and it goes underneath. So now I'm going to go and do the second question. So I'm going to get this one from here. Go back over here. I'm going to put two, and then paste. There we go. Then go back and copy and paste. these ones here and again this should be short answer no not short answer what we're talking about multiple choice option one paste I've got some blanks that's fine cross them off as you go along and it'll be the same thing if you had it copied in, uh, in you know uh, saved somewhere else and again required and answer key uh, I'm gonna give it one mark and keep doing that, doing that until you have a, uh, a list of uh, t uh, questions. So I'm going to do a few more uh, and come back to you. Okay, so I've got five questions now. Uh, one, two, three, four. I've made sure they all have required stuck to them. In fact, you can see from the star here, the star means it's a required question, so they can't skip it. I'm going to do one more question at the bottom, but this time I'm going to do a long answer style question. So I'm going to choose a uh, pound graph. And I'm going to choose a question that makes sense. So it could be something like um, explain why a business would want to expand globally use No, let's put, let's make it a little bit harder. Analyze why a business may, business would want to expand globally. Explain um, three benefits with some justified examples. Okay, something like that. Um, now, the difference between this and the rest is obviously multiple choice. That might take them a few seconds to answer, whereas this is actually forcing them to think about uh, what they have to type. So this is one of those six mark questions, 10, 12 mark questions. Now, you can just get that from uh, your teaching resources. Maybe you've already used them in the past. Maybe it's a question you've already used and you want them to go and re-explore it. Same as before. I'm going to put uh, six marks here, done. And again, for them to see, I'm uh, going to put six marks in brackets here as well. Required, and that's that, done. Okay, finished. Now, you'll notice that's the questions. This is the questions page. This is the responses page, which we don't have any as yet. So that's done. That should be saved. If I go back over here, um, I should be able to assign it so make sure you've got your class here so you chosen you're chosen the class that you want and in fact I'm gonna choose my uh, CBD session that I have as well so I've got two classes there and the points for this one uh, as I said early on you can actually add these up now so you got five plus six that makes it eleven so we'll go back over here and you could just type in um, eleven um, and that should be fine so if I click assign now it should be okay. I'm just gonna make sure. It should be fine. I'm gonna test this now. Let's have a look. Okay, give it a second. Now, if I just double check it now, you can see business growth ass assessment. If I click on that, you can see the form's name has changed on here. So, this is how you create it. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is, oh yes, how you actually see and 
then get the feedback. Um, so we give them feedback or assess them even. Um, but when they open it up on the stream page, they'll see a new post from Mr. Ali or whoever the teacher or yourself uh, is. Their teacher's name will come up here and then they click it and then they'll be able to see what it is. So for us, for you and me as a teacher, we can see what was the assessment that we sent, how many people have actually handed it back. And we can just click on there and then see the response. But there's an, another way, an easier way, which I'm going to show you. Now, if I go into the instructions page, you'll see they just, they'll just they just see this. This is how they'll see it. So they have the instructions, got the title, they click here, and then it opens up. And it should look very similar to this preview that I showed early on. So they'll have these questions, multiple choice, answer, submit, done. Okay, so that's how they see it. On the next video, I'm going to show you um, how we're going to assess it.